In the city I live in the south of Haiti, I noticed that, uh, um, well, first of all, everybody listens to radio all the time uh, with either small transistor radios and, and, and or telephones, mobile telephones in Haiti now all have a little radio in them. And I realized that the role of radio is enormous in Haiti. Everything happens. So basically you have a population where half of it is uh, illiterate, uh, so they cannot read uh, the newspaper, there's only one daily newspaper in Haiti, but I cannot read that, half of them. And it even doesn't get out of the, the capital, Port-au-Prince. And only 25% of the population has access to electricity. So that means no television, no internet, and obviously there is a, there is a big problem of poverty. But when you go in the most remote countryside, little village houses, you realize that people are informed about the news, the president, the, the, what is happening around the world often. And that is all thanks to radio, because radio, you don't need electricity, you just need batteries. And many have solar panel powered radios, and, and, and it's easy to recharge batteries or to rebuy batteries. And on the other side, what you have, which is even more interesting for me, is that the technology to broadcast is reasonably simple. So, so what happens is at the end, the, you have in a city like Lekai, which is a small city, it's less than 50,000 people, you have more than 30 radio stations. And, and that's the only for that city. If you move to the city next door, they're going to have all their radio stations. You go to small places and you have everywhere radio stations. And the, the, the variety of radios somehow mirrors the society. And radios are a real community tool. People walk into a radio, and now, now people have mobile phones, but just even in some areas where there's bad re phone reception, what will happen is where people go into radio and said, could you tell my grandmother in village such and such that uh, the goat is ready uh, to, uh, to be killed or something? And so they have all these messages uh, going on with the radio. And, um, and it was also another way to try to speak about uh, other things which was happening in Haiti. There was, uh, when I did this project, it was the, the first cholera outbreak. And radios were extremely, extremely important in carrying out the message of um, how to deal with cholera. Religion is a big part in Haiti. The Haitian, Haitian religion is, is the, the voodoo. Uh, you got the Catholics and that goes back to the, to, the, to the colonizers, and you got Protestantism. And I went to the, mm, the diocese of, of, of Lekai and asked them if I could photograph um, their radio. And I they spent some time there and s asked who was the, the star of the radio. And, um, and, and she, they, tongue in the cheek, told me she's, she's the one that gets the most following that people love. And so, so I went to photograph her a couple of times and spent some time there. And, and she prays and she reads pieces of the Bible and tells stories and gives people advice. And, and she was very, very astonished that then her photograph was so widely uh, published and seen around. Uh, she, she will obviously have a uh, strong emphasis on the more religious part, but it's, it's not I can say it's not proselytism, she's not trying to convert people. She's, she's trying to, to guide them and then there's music. Well, she told me she was not photogenic. And I told her that uh, that was my business, I would make it photogenic. <laughs> and, and, you know, just, just, just giving a little bit of uh, um, putting people at ease. And I, I always think that there has to be this exchange. Yes, I, I, I do believe that, that uh, uh, we need a different approach to, 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 to what we've seen from, from, from Haiti. We tend to see only a certain kind of images. We tend to go places thinking we know what we're going to see. And then we tend to see what we thought we knew. And often those things exist, but that blackens out or a series of other things that we're not seeing. So what I'm trying to do is I try to go a little bit more uh, empty to a place and try to uh, absorb uh, things.